Hey, how's it going everybody? Some guy here. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the Pascal notebooks that have been coming out. Now, something's different about my computer compared to a whole bunch of the other ones that have been coming out. As you guys may have noticed, my Alienware 15 R3 is a Skylake Core i5 with the Pascal GTX 1060. Now, you guys may have noticed the majority of these Pascal notebooks that have been coming out do usually have the i7-6700 HQ in them. So I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be too far from, you know, the i7 with it being a 4-core processor, just minus the hyper-threading and slightly, uh, with, a, with a clock that was slightly less than what you got with the i7. So here's some uh, additional information for you guys. As some of you may have noticed on my benchmarks on my Alienware 15 R3 review, you may have noticed that the frame rates were either choppy or low. So I just wanted to talk about this a little bit because after I installed the new drivers, I actually updated everything, the BIOS and whatnot, and it's still doing about the same thing. Doom is doing exactly the same thing that it was pre-update. Um, I'm sorry, pre -update. So it's still hopping around from 40 to like 70 frames per second, which is not, that's not normal. Um, it's supposed to be getting at least like, even though it does have the i5, like it should only be like 10 to 15% slower than if it, if it had the i7. And it's definitely a lot slower with that 1060 i5 combo. So I just wanted to say, if you guys were thinking about buying an i5 laptop with the Pascal graphics card, be careful because you don't want to end up like me spending like $1,300 even though subjectively that's a pretty good deal if you compare it to the rest of the computers that have been coming out. However, that <laughs> the stuttering is so bad. It is not worth your time. Uh, I'm actually in the process of returning my 15R3 right now and as soon as it comes back to Dell I'm going to be ordering an i7 6700 HQ model with the GTX 1060 again and I'm hoping to see it go back up to what it should be so like Overwatch for example should be running at about 90 frames per second um, The Witcher 3, well actually let me talk about The Witcher 3 really quick The Witcher 3, some people asked about it, after the patch it did run really good it was actually running at about like 70 frames per second, no like 65 everything turned up at 1080p, except for hair works, I turned off hair works because that kills the frame the frame rate a whole lot. So yeah, about 70, 65 to 70 frames per second, which is pretty good with the 1060 i5 combo. But again, I, I think it's a it's based on what game you're playing. So just be careful, and yep, have a good one.